these are the uh, metric prefixes that are commonly used and that we will be using in this class. When you have a metric prefix, you need to set up the conversion factor. A number line is really helpful for negative x. On a number line, we know that going this direction in the number line, those values are increasing. So the x one is that small raised number. For example, the 2 in 10 to the 10 squared. 10 squared equals 100, which is less than 10 to the 4th or 10,000. So 10,000 is greater than, 10 to the 4th is greater than 10 squared, which is 100. On the negative exponent side, increasing still occurs to the right. So if we compare this 10 to the negative 4 versus 10 to the minus 2, the exponent value 10 to the minus 4 has four zeros in front of a 1, compared to 10 to the minus 2, which is two zeros in front of the 1. What can be confusing for negative exponents is 4 compared to 2. 4 is bigger than 2, but negative 4 is smaller than negative 2, especially when talking about the exponents. 10 to the negative 4 is much smaller than 10 to the negative 2. Or 10 to the negative 2 is increased compared to 10 to the negative 4. The conversion is 155 hm uh, to meters. So first you recognize that this is the metric prefix h, and you set up the conversion factor, h equals 10 squared. So you want to add the units onto it, which is m. So multiply m onto both sides, hm equals 10 squared m. Put a 1 in the front, and that would be your conversion factor. Now to solve this, you want to take this number, 155, and write 155 hm, just copy the number, and then put a fraction next to it. So that's the parentheses with the horizontal fraction line, and then it's a matter of deciding what's going into the bottom of that fraction. So if you are looking at canceling these units of hm, what you need here in the bottom of the denominator of this fraction is a unit hm which is only going to be this, 1hm from the conversion factor you had set up. So taking that 1hm, I'm putting that in the bottom here, and then what goes on the top of this fraction is the other side of the equality, which is the 10 squared meters. Now in putting this on the bottom, you're, this allows canceling the units hm, and the units that remain that are not crossed out is this m. So that's good because that's what we're trying to solve for, m. So once the units check out, you can write an equal sign and leave space for the number um, and put the unit m out there. So the numbers are calculated across 155 times 10 squared divided by 1, or just 155 times 10 squared. Now putting this into scientific notation, you want a number more than 1 less than 10. So this 155 is more than 10, so put a decimal and move the decimal over so that your number value is 1.55. From 155 to 1.55, the number value decreases. So the exponent, this 10 squared, the exponent 2 has to increase, and that's by 2, so that's going to be up to 10 to the 4th. So this would be your answer in scientific notation, 1.55 times 10 to the 4th meters. So in this next example, the conversion is from 155 meters to hm. So again, we're going to use the conversion factor with h. So h is 10 squared, and so hm is 10 squared m, and put a 1 in the front. So that's going to be the conversion factor. So what you're trying to convert this time is the number 155 and put the units m. You have a fraction, and deciding what's going on the bottom of that fraction is so that you can cancel this unit, this time m. So on the bottom, you want to choose the side that has m, which is going to be 10 squared meters. So 10 squared meters is going on the bottom, and then what's going on the top of the fraction is what this is equal to. The other side of the equality is 1 hm. And so you can cancel the units of m, and that means the units that remain are hm. So that's good. That's what we're trying to get to. So you write an equal sign, and you leave some space for the number and write the units hm. So what you have here is 155 times 1 divided by 10 squared. Now let's write that out, 155 times 1 over 10 squared. So it's not just 10 squared. And this is an example where it is useful to write 1 is as 10 to the 0 instead. 
because what this is, is now this is instead of 1 over 10 squared, you can write this as 10 to the 0 over 10 squared. And you can use the property where you are dividing powers of 10. You're just taking the exponents and subtracting. So you want to subtract those exponents by actually putting an exponent in there instead of 1. Okay, so instead of 1, you want to add the 10 to the 0. So subtracting the exponents, it's 0 minus 2, or negative 2. So this is going to be 155 times 10 to the minus 2 hm. So let's put this into scientific notation. So take this uh, and 155, put a decimal here, move it over, and you will have 1.55. And this is an example where this is a negative exponent to start with. Okay, so going from 155 down to 1.55, the number got smaller by 2 powers of 10. So this number 10 to the negative 2, increasing by 2, is going to 0. 10 to the 0 would be increasing. So this is going to be in the answer represented 1.55 times 10 to the 0 hm. And that would be your answer in scientific notation. In this example, the conversion is 155 dam. So that's the metric pre prefix da, or deca, which is 10 to the 1. Um, asked to convert to another metric prefix unit, which is hm. Okay, so this is two metric prefixes. That means you're going to need two conversion factors. So this is da, and this is h, which is 10 squared. For both of these, you want to add the unit meters onto it. So dam equals 10 to the first m. Put a 1 in the front, and that's your first conversion factor. For the second one, you also want to add meters. So hm equals 10 squared meters. Put a 1 in the front, and that's your second conversion factor. So using both of these conversion factors, you have 155 dam. Two conversion factors means two fractions. Two fractions, two parentheses, two horizontal lines. And then deciding what's going into the bottom of this first fraction depends on what you're trying to cancel out. So you need a unit that has dam, and that would be this one. So 1 dam. And then on top of this is the other side of the equal sign, 10 to the first meters. So this will allow you to cancel out dam, decameters. And that leaves this unit, meters, which is going to help you decide what's going in the bottom of this second conversion factor, the second fraction. So you're looking for meters to cancel out, so that would be this option, 10 squared meters. It's not going to be this one because you already used that, okay? So 10 squared meters is the only one with an M that hasn't been used. On the other side of this fraction, on the top of it, is the other side of the equal sign, 1 HM. So you want to cancel the meters in meters, and then the units that remain is HM. That's good because that's what you're trying to get to. So once you have that, you want to write an equal sign and write the units that remain hm out there. Now combining the numbers, you have 155, and this is times, I'll highlight this, 10 to the first is in the numerator and 10 squared is in the denominator. So this is 10 to the first and over 10 squared. When you have powers of 10 that are divided, you are subtracting those exponents. So just looking at the exponents is 1 minus 2 or negative 1. So this is going to be 155 times 10 to the minus 1 hm. Now the last step here is to convert this to scientific notation. So take the 155, put a decimal, move it over so that now you have 1.55. Okay? And uh, this one, 155 to 1.55, the number got smaller, so the exponent needs to get bigger. Now looking back at this number line, this was negative 1 is the original exponent, 10 to the minus 1. Increasing um, the exponent by 2 is going to be not 0, but 1, or 10 to the 1. So this would be 1.55 times 10 to the 1 and hm for the number in scientific notation.